Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. So this is going to be a quick video. In fact, this video actually was never really going to happen because this company reached out to me, Inky, is actually the name of the company. They make photography and videography equipment. And they asked if I wanted to test out one of their new compact portable video lights. I initially thought, no, I don't need any video lights and I don't need to make videos about video lights. But I did, as I always do when I get these emails, I went to YouTube to see if anybody else has put out videos about it so I could get an idea about the product. And one thing I kept seeing in all of these videos is people using this light as a flashlight. And I thought, huh, okay. So I said, ah, all right, go ahead and send it to me. <laughs> and here it is. This is the Inky GC60 Portable Video Light. The GC stands for Gold Crow. I don't know what that's all about, but it sounds kind of cool. It sounds a little Game of Thrones. Quickly, let me tell you a little bit about the light, and then we'll talk about how we might be able to use this. So this is a rechargeable, bi-colored LED video and photography light. It's bi-colored, so that means it can go from the warmer side of the spectrum to the cooler side, and more specifically, 2700 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin. As I said before, it is rechargeable and it has a 9,600 milliamp battery. That is a big, big battery. It's rechargeable with USB type C and you do get this really nice charging block in the package with it. The CRI or color rendering index is 95%. That's really pretty good. Anything over 90 is considered really good. And what that means is when you're recording videos or taking photos, it's how true to nature, to lifelike, the colors will be represented when lit with this light. The light can be mounted on all kinds of light stands. You have several ports here around the edge for mounting it to a light stand. It even comes with an adjustable light stand mounting bracket thing. And probably the best thing though, if you know anything about video lights, it is Bowens compatible. It comes with this tiny little reflector, which you can pop off and the mounting arms here swing out so that it will accommodate a Bowens mount, a full-size Bowens mount. That is really, really cool. That means that as you see in this shot here, you'll be able to mount lightweight soft boxes and reflectors, essentially anything that is compatible with the Bowens mount. Also comes with a nice carrying bag, as you saw at the beginning. And finally, another cool aspect of this light is it is waterproof. So the, the form factor of this is very similar to a flashlight, albeit one of those like 1970s cop flashlights, but a flashlight nonetheless. It is pretty bulky and it is pretty heavy. It's over two pounds and um, that's because there's a lot of stuff going on in here. Huge battery, there's also a fan so that as this thing heats up, the fan will dissipate some of that heat. Now I mentioned it is bi-colored, but it also has lighting effects. A lot of modern day video lights have these lighting effects that they add into it, and this one does as well. It has several different effects. Uh, you can simulate lightning, you can simulate the flickering of a television, it can flash SOS in Morse code, and even simulate like the flickering of halogen light bulbs that are kind of going out. You can get that type of effect with this as well. So as far as being a video light or a photography light, it's fantastic. The fact that it's portable, the fact that it's rechargeable. If I'm traveling to do some on location recording, I can just throw this in my bag along with a lightweight softbox. I'll be set. But as I said, I've seen a lot of people using this just as a flashlight. And as a flashlight, it is crazy bright. Here's a couple clips of me using this at night in my backyard, trying to not blind my neighbors back there. 
but you can see how well this works. It totally lights up the entire area. So it is definitely very viable as a flashlight. Now that's a very expensive flashlight, <laughs> I will say. Uh, there's definitely cheaper alternatives on the market that would probably get the same results. But like I said, I thought I would go ahead and share this with you anyway. One thing to note, one thing I discovered, unfortunately, the LEDs, although they are LEDs, they do get pretty hot. Uh, now, when you're using this as a light, as a flashlight, a video light, um, a light for photography, it's not a problem. The fan kicks on, dissipates the heat and all of that. But do not touch this light. Don't touch the lens of this light whenever it is on full brightness. You will burn yourself. And in fact, I was sitting on my floor testing this light out and I had it sitting upside down because the controls are on the back here and I ended up burning a hole in my carpet. <laughs> and it did not take long at all. I was sitting there, I was like, what's that smell? <laughs> So be careful, that's all I gotta say. Don't touch the ends, don't have this sitting on a table or carpet in my case while it is on full power because you will do some damage. All right guys, that is the Inky Gold Crow portable video light. I of course will have Amazon links for this in the video description. A huge thank you to Inky for sending this out to me so that I could make this video for you. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. If you would like to reach out, check out the website, theblindlife.net. You can contact me through there. Don't forget to check out the podcast. I'm putting out new episodes every single week, available on all your popular podcast streaming platforms. But that is it for this one, guys. As always, Sam with The Blind Life, I will see you next time.